course this morning. I like it. <laughs> and a pair of Mancunian icons. Surely I don't need an intro. Yeah, no, just, <laughs> just LG. Just get just just straight to John. John the Squire is here. Yeah. Yeah, lovely to see you. Good Been morning. working with you. How are you, John? I'm good. Yeah, very chilled as ever, John. Always Almost so asleep. chilled. <laughs> you probably will be at the end of this interview, John. Um, and LG in the house. Yeah. Liam, how are you, darling? I'm all right, Mum. Do you all know each other? Have you met Alison before, Vicky? Mutual no, we've friends? Never met before, we've never we? met me and Vicky. I'm glad we have never met. My goodness no. me. I'm imagining big admirers of each other's oh my work. God, yeah. I, sure. I'm a huge fan of this lady. Go. Huge. Lovely. I'm a huge, obviously I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Legend and... I know, I know. As a spread, I have to say, pretty pretty special. Liam, you've been up since goodness knows yeah. when. Yeah, two o'clock, I think, 2.45. Well, I met this lady once. Uh, I met, met her. I walked past her in the MNS in Muswell Hill. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't stop to... Cool chat. places. It is cool places. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? MNSs are Isn't cool places. Lady? Lady yeah. Like there she is. Yeah. There she is. Is. Did you look round and go, I know... She didn't help me with my I bags know. either. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> straight off. <laughs> Doing off in a Friday. <laughs> it's amazing who you see in m &S. You see Alan Bennett in m &S in Camden. Right. Um, and just sort of wander past being like, oh, he's extraordinarily tall. Right. Um, yes, well, lovely to have you all here. Yeah. Uh, lots and lots of exciting stuff to discuss. Uh, an OBE, an MBE and two rock and roll stars in the studio at the same time. It's going to be uh, quite expensive. Uh, it's going to be quite exciting is what I'm thinking. Uh, Vicky, how excited are you because I know you are a massive Stone Roses fan. I am. I'm a massive Stone Roses fan. I'm a massive Oasis fan. I'm freaking out like you are. Yes. <laughs> I can just I'm trying to keep it cool though. Yeah. Hi, Sammy. Hi, I'm glad this you're is here. Weird. Hold my hands. <laughs> it's silly, isn't it? It's like, you know, I'm 53 years old. Not, you shouldn't be starstruck. I'm a massive Stone Roses fan. Yeah, I'm banging know. Oasis as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Natural <laughs> man. I don't know what you're freaking oh, out for. Oh goodness! And Alison, are you a massive Oasis Stone Roses fan? Um, do you get out to much live music? <laughs> I don't go to much live music. Okay. No, no. Um, I, I, you know, in the past I have been, but I'm getting old now, dear. Oh, you know, <laughs> you're not that old. You're look at but you. I, look I, I, I must say, I do find crowds a, yeah. a, a, a bit not scary, but annoying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not annoying, but uh, but I difficult to cope with. Yeah. You know, to know I mean if there's thousands and thousands of people and well, you know, they're pushing and shoving and you know, I sort of think, oh no, no, no. I'm much more civilized. Would you go to music when you can sit down? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So we may not get her to the day rave, Vicky McClure. Uh, well, I was just thinking that we can we can find a nice you know area. I get that. We can get you an area. Yeah. Day rave. So it's in the day, and then you're home for eight o'clock. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll, interest I'll send is you the deets. Okay. We're going to play uh, Sweet Female Attitude, and then we'll chat in depth with our lovely guest today. Oh, baby. Sweet female attitude flowers on BBC Radio 2. Fabulous guests we have here this morning. Just having a lovely catch up with everybody. So Liam Gallagher and John Squire have come together um, to make some music together. It's a long time we wanted this to happen. Obviously, there was a moment with the Seahorses. There was a moment in Nebworth back in 96 and then in 2022 when John joined Liam on stage, of course. But actually, to go in the studio and make music together. There is a huge hub of excitement about this music that's come out. Liam, firstly, though, weren't you meant to be taking an, a year off to find yourself? Did you tell Joe Wiley that? Well, no, to lose myself. Oh, that was it. To get rid of myself, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but, well, after Nebworth and that, I just thought maybe I need to get out of people's heads, you know, faces and that, and I had to go and get an operation as well. And then uh, John ruined that by calling me and asking me would I what, like to uh, sing some of his songs and that, so... Fantastic. Didn't have a year off, went back grafting, so there you go. There you go. So when did when was this seed planted for you, John? When did you start thinking, hang on, we've got to do some stuff together? And how does it work between the two of you when you're writing together? Um, I think the, the first time we spoke about it was when I went to rehearse for Nabworth, for that one song. Yeah. Uh, and I've always known it would work, never thought it would happen. I feel like I've found a magic lamp and got that first wish. Excellent. Um, I wonder what the next two will be on the lamp. Two Fantas more albums. Two more albums. Fantastic. This is great. So, um, uh, the working together, how does that work, Liam? John does all the work and okay. I sort of just pop up at the end and sort of put it in the back of the net. Right. <laughs> Fantastic. Go that, on, go. That, <laughs> <laughs> and did you do that? No, I mean, John wrote the songs and that. Yeah. So, you know, I just think, you know, he had it all sort of mapped out and done and that. And 
I just like to do the singing, which is great, you know what I mean? I think, you know, not, it was all done, so there's no point in me coming in and spoiling the party, you know what well, I mean? It all done. Well, it was, I mean, look, the songwriting and all the, the songs yeah. were recorded, you know, we'd done and that, and then we had to sort of just do my, I had to do my bit, which I find very easy, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, it's natural. Know, yeah. yeah, there you go. And what about lyrics and stuff like that? It's, you know, you you write in those. John's writing the lyrics. Yeah, he did it all. Yeah. Oh, we've had an easy time of it, Liam. That's what a lovely time. Never worked so hard in life. No, but um, I, no, it's, it's great, man. Yeah. I think it's turned um, out well, you know what I mean? Where, and where did you record it? Was it, was it at your studios, John? We did demos at mine, yeah. my house, but uh, we recorded the album in LA. Yeah. Because we wanted to work with Greg Kirsten. Yeah. Who Liam knew well, and uh, there's no point in dragging him out of his comfort zone. So yeah. we went to his studio. Okay. And his studio is really good. It's one of them that works. Everything works. You go to these studios most of the time, and you go, "Oh, that, can we try that over there?" And it doesn't work. Right. Okay. So everything like here in, the BBC. Every, everything yeah. in his studio works. And it's on all the and time. And it's on. Wow. There was a green button on the desk, yeah. and I said, "What does that do?" I was really tempted to just push it because it was so. It was glowing. It was talking to you. It was drawing me in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you went, no, that turns everything off. What? And you never do that. You never do that. Uh, amazing group of musicians as well that you, you're working with. But the great thing is, you are taking this record out on the road yeah. as well, um, which the fans are going to just, they're going to lose it. It's going to be Vicky, you, me. Yeah. Alison will find her a quiet area where she can sit down. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, you like to think so. I mean, people like. People like. Oasis or the Roses and that, I think they'll like it, you know what I mean? I mean, if you're into Bjork, I don't think you're going to dig it that much, you know what I mean? I think you can be in Bjork, uh, be into Bjork yeah. and be into you guys. Well, maybe, but <laughs> okay. I just think, you know, if you put like this kind of thing, I think people are really going to like it and, you know, and there'll be a few people that don't like it and good for them. <laughs> good for them. Well, from what I've heard from the album or so far is amazing. Um, can you tell us a bit about some of the themes on the album, My John? He doesn't like it. He doesn't, doesn't he? Uh, how, how, massive how old? Bjork fan. <laughs> <laughs> How old's your son, John? He's 12. He's 12. OK, what's he into, though, musically? Um, not much. OK, all uh, right. A couple of Eminem songs and Back in Black. The song, not the band. Yeah, OK. It'll come, though. Every time, the al we play it a lot in the car, my wife does as well, and every time it's on... It's like, not this again. <laughs> not this again, <laughs> Dad. Open, try to open the door. <laughs> Do you know what, though? It is Why that the thing. Up, the truth from your children. To hear it <laughs> in like, the car park. Does he make you part around the corner yet? That'll come. If he's only 12, you might not get that yet. Don't go anywhere near school, please. No, that's not happening yet. That does happen, Liam, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Uh, Alison, do you remember that moment when your kids were old enough that suddenly they were like, no, please don't walk me into school? Uh, yes, I do. Yes. No, that, I mean, you know, you, you, they get to that age when they're just embarrassed by you all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, and you just can't wait for them to grow up and actually s stop going, um, you know, but I, I'm a bother, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think if you're paying for that education, you should be allowed to walk into school then. <laughs> it's very, and very out, true. It? And I hang out in a canteen and that, you know what I mean? I'm paying for it, man. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, uh, well, the album <laughs> is called Liam Gallagher and John Scar. It's coming out on the 1st of March. Uh, brand new single uh, to play now, Mars to Liverpool. Uh, Liam, what can you tell us about this one? Brad to I, play it. John, I'll have to tell you everything about it. OK, John, what do you want to tell us about it? Um... <laughs> It started with a text chat between me and Liam about being disappointed at getting to your destination. Right, we've all had that. Yeah. Okay. And we, there was a, we start. It went from that to space travel <laughs> very quickly. I was imagining <laughs> how disappointing it would be to get to Mars. Would it be the same? You go all that way and then you're disappointed. Yeah. Brilliant. From Liam Gallagher and John Squire, this is Mars to Liverpool. <laughs> How good is that sounding in your ears this morning? Mars to Liverpool, Liam Gallagher and John Squire. Great reaction, boys. Uh, love this song from the boys. Oh, my gosh. My brother Michael nearly joined as a roadie when they performed at Warwick Uni uh, when they first started out, apparently. Uh, Michael was doing his degree when my... He told my mum, uh, I would have killed you. About two months later, Oasis hit the charts and the rest is history. I think he's livid. He's livid that he never did. And he's in Newbury. What's he doing now? I absolutely love that. 351 on the text. This is a tune, says John. Biblical. 
Liam and John <laughs> loving the tune uh, from AD. Simon says, well done, lads. Huge. Uh, if you want to know when the boys are going out on the road, tickets for the tour go on sale next Friday. Um, and it's, it's not that long, is it, until you're out on the road? I don't know, you know, I've got four by it. It's yeah. Fun. It's just sort of just one day at a time, isn't one it? One day at a time. Well, before you know it, you'll be up there... Like yeah. Blowing kisses at everybody and they'll be blowing them back. <laughs> <laughs> so I try not to, try not to think about not it. To just, think. Just, That's just job. Otherwise, otherwise you stress out, you know what I mean? When you think that you've got oh. something to do something, you know what I mean? It'll just happen when it happens. Yeah. Smiling. It will. Smiling. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just, I've, you've just missed a really brilliant conversation about photo shoots and being made to smile and some of the, the things that photographers have tried to make Liam do in photo shoots, like be a tiger. Be a tiger. Yeah. I mean, please. <laughs> I know. Good luck with that. Yeah. Uh, amazing album artwork here. We've got look, we've got the vinyl there, all the tracks on the front there. I'm a wheel, make it up. You're not the only one. Any particular favourites for you, John, on this album, this amazing piece of work? I'm talking about the artwork. I yeah, like, the, I like the bleach. <laughs> the bleach. <laughs> also the songs, John. Um, you know, the, favourite song is yeah. uh, Mother Nature's song. That, okay. that, that's my favourite as well. Okay, beautiful. That, it keeps tripping me up. That one. And that's that's the last one. So, mm. And this is the one. Is this the one where John, when you first heard Liam? sing it that you teared up uh, I welled up you welled up yeah ok let's get that to be right. exact <laughs> yeah. no, no liquid rolled down the cheek <laughs> <laughs> let's not take it too far I teared up actually did you yeah when you heard your own vocal yeah <laughs> <laughs> I made um, myself cry. Oh, brilliant. Uh, well, the single is out now. The album, we've got to wait till the 1st of March. Uh, if you pre-order the album before Tuesday, you'll get early access to tickets, by the way. So, fans, you might want to get on that uh, immediately.